Hey everybody, this is Pete. And in this video, I want to show it really quickly how model states in Inventor 2022 play with vault items. So full disclosure, I'm not a vault master. I've got lots of other people on my team who are specifically devoted to working on vaults. So they're awesome. But I think this is something that almost any Inventor user should be aware of if they want to use Vault Professional. So just as a quick overview, I've got a couple of model states here. So I've got a master where everything's shown and there's one where it's just the solar panel. So instead of showing the bars and the solar panel, I just want this one. So the first critical thing to note about model states in 2022, if you want to use this in Vault, each model state must have a unique I property for part number. So you can see here, I've got solar only. And then if we go back to the master and we look at the I properties, you'll see that it's without the solar only. Okay. So that's the idea with using the items is that each row or each one of these model states must have a different part number. And then all of the build material stuff will come along with it. So all I'll do is I'll check this into Vault. Go ahead and save it. For the sake of time, I won't add a comment, but of course, add comments, that's important. <laughs> and now if we go into Vault, I've already got it kind of queued up. This is that part, of course, would want to refresh it. And then we would assign or update items. Okay, so it's gonna grind through that. And then right down here, I've got a shortcut to the item master. And there you see we've got a couple of those items. Okay, so there's my solar only. And one additional thing to note is that if an item, or I'm sorry, a component has a quantity of zero, it does not show up in the item. So you can see in the master, I've got two shafts and a solar panel, but in the solar only, of course, because the shafts are suppressed, we only see the solar panel. So that's, it's really straightforward and basic. The only other thing that I've ran into is, oops, sometimes I forget to make a model state. So again, that's not the end of the world. So what I'll do is I'll go back home just to get this set up here. You could do this either way. You could also update from the vault item, but I like to come here and make sure everything is set up the way I want. So I'll go back to inventor. I'll check out this model. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna create a new model state right here, whoops, from the master. And I'm gonna call this just shafts. Okay, and you can probably guess where I'm going with this. We're going to go ahead and suppress the solar panel. That's just your warning that components that have zero don't show up in the bomb or don't get quantified. And then we also want to change the I property. And this is where I'll add in that custom only shafts portion of the part number. All right, so once we've done that, we can go ahead and check this in. Again, you have to save it, so Vault will help you with that. I'm not gonna add a note, again, for the interest of time. And now we're back into the Vault. So we can go ahead and, oops, I like to refresh this. Then we update the item. It's gonna grind through that process again. And now if we go back to Item Master, you'll see it has added in that third item. So just a quick video showing how the process works. I didn't find tons of documentation on that, so I thought this might be helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.